let us start with Anthony Albanese heading to Biloela as Labor continues to argue the Tamil family who have been living and working there should be allowed to stay in Australia. As you've just heard, the court stayed that case till Friday. Never mind, according to Labor, that the parents arrived on illegal people smuggling boats. Never mind they were found not to be refugees by the Refugee Tribunal, by the Federal Court, by the full Federal Court and then by the High Court. Never mind they were declared unlawful and told to leave the country. Never mind they agreed to leave the country, then changed their mind. Never mind that genuine refugees are queuing up in camps around the world, desperate to take places in our humanitarian program. Never mind that if the rules are ignored for this family, there are 6,000 similar cases who will use it as a precedent. And never mind that Labor keeps telling us that uh, we should forget their history, forget their record in government and forget their criticism of the government, that they could be trusted, they say, to run an orderly and secure immigration program. Yes, never mind all those facts and all the consequences, all the laws and all the history, Anthony Albanese says Labor should be believed and trusted to make an exception in this case. Why? Because these are nice people, hard-working, with children born here who have been accepted by their community. That's terrific. It speaks volumes for the family and for their community. It underscores what a terrific, tolerant country we are in Australia. Of course we have sympathy for the family and understand why they would want to stay. And of course we hope that once they've gone back to Sri Lanka, they can apply and perhaps be sponsored by their employer back into Australia legally. But we're only going to hear more pleas to keep them here, to allow the emotion and compassion to overrule the law of the land when Anthony Albanese speaks from Bilalia in an hour or so. But this, in no, this is no way, of course, to run an immigration program. This is no way to run a country. Most of the asylum seekers who try to get here illegally are good people who would make a great contribution here. Most of the millions of people who would love to come here from around the world are terrific people who would add something to our nation. We can't take them all, we don't take them all, we have rules and we have order. Without that, there is chaos and tragedy, as Labor, more than anyone else, has shown us. Anthony Albanese is only demonstrating that Labor can't be trusted on borders and immigration. His sidekick, Christina Keneally, is only demonstrating that Labor has learned nothing from 1,200 deaths, from years of crowded detention centres and personal trauma, for more than $10 billion wasted. And Keneally in particular brings in religion. As someone who claims to be a Christian, she attacks the Christian values and ethics of the Prime Minister and his Home Affairs Minister. Christina Keneally is effectively trying to tell the nation that her reckless attention-seeking and virtue-signalling stand on border protection is a stand that would do... one that would do an immeasurable harm to other people if it was implemented... She says that makes her a better Christian than those who support orderly and generous immigration programs. Perhaps Keneally herself ought to consider a trip to the confessional. I know many senior Labor MPs are appalled at her stand. Keneally needs to try to understand it's not all about her. It's about the nation, it's about the government, our humanitarian program, genuine refugees and the integrity of our immigration system.